Hello, welcome back to Thrifty Thursday. Welcome back to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore. I was, what? Oh, for God's sake, I'm live here now. I'm so sorry to start it like this. My name's Anna, channel's Vintage Jewelry Galore. And I had to start a new stream here live for my sale today because I, for some reason, could not figure out how to go live on YouTube. I never have a problem with, um, hi Lori, I don't have a problem with, uh, wow, this is weird too for me. It's a lot different than StreamYard. I'm so sorry. No, I'm on a different one now. Um, so anybody that was on the other one, I hope they find their way over here. I did sit tell them I was starting a new stream. I've never like pre-scheduled a YouTube and come live like that. But I've got to get out of here and get on the right one because I'm going to be looking at my messages on my laptop because I need the screen space on my phone. Is this the right one? <laughs> now I have two of them. Okay, so the other one, um, hmm. Oh, my God, how confusing. Well, there's nine waiting. I'm assuming everybody will find their way over here. Um, I'm going to leave that there, I guess. I am live on this one. My sound's down, I guess, because I don't hear myself talking screen off by accident. Yeah, give me a thumbs up, please. Um, okay, I see Lori and Becky here. Thank you. You made it over. Four people made it over. I did tell them I was over there. I was starting a live stream. Could somebody go over and... Well, I can go over there, I guess. I don't know. That's really crazy because StreamYard makes it really simple. I, I don't know what I did wrong. I... Hi, Irene. Hi, Sung. I scheduled a, the sale ahead of time, and I couldn't figure out how to get in there on my phone or laptop. I got to figure that out. I'm not used to doing it, so I just went in and did it go live again. It looks like I think most people found their way over here. Um, they will. Hi. Hi, Deborah Christine. I'm going to be looking at my laptop for the messages. I should be able to do that. I'm, I'm used to multitasking, so I should be fine. But welcome back. Thank you for coming. I'll get started at like um, in a few minutes. I'll wait a couple minutes for people to find their way here. Um, I have two of them, but I did type under there. I have to start a new stream. I'm going to have to ask somebody. I'll ask Jean. I know she does it all the time. Um, I don't know how that what why I had so much trouble. I typically, technically, I'm not real savvy, but I don't have difficult a difficult time trying to do things like that. For some reason, it would not let me in. Hi, Emily. Just crazy. All right, let me get. I'm gonna get something. I'll be right back. I'm gonna start in just a few minutes. I didn't even start the video the way I wanted to. I was gonna be like professional. Welcome back to my channel, <laughs> Vintage Jewelry Galore, to another Thrifty Thursday. But I was so, like, taken aback by not being able to get into my beginning as jarbled and confused as usual. That's all right. People get the idea I'm selling jewelry. All right. Where am I going to put that? That'll go there. All right. So I'll get started in a few minutes. Um, I'm still, like, taken aback by the fact that I couldn't figure that out. All right, I have a variety of jewelry today. Some it's been seen before, some's new. All of it's been seen somewhere because I do my preview videos. Um, my, I'm doing pretty well, Lori. Thanks for asking. I'm um, tired. I'm a little tired. I feel like I'm not, I, I don't know why I'm, well, I do a lot, but I think I'm not eating enough or something. I mean, eating well enough. But he's adorable. I got my first kisses yesterday. I got three of them. Just adorable. He's so little and... He's just adorable. He really is. Little and chubby. And he's crawling now and standing up, trying to stand up, holding on to furniture. He's really cute. He's a handful. He's going to be running around before you know it. But then I'll feel a little more comfortable taking him out. I can take him out now. I haven't as of yet. It's my third week of watching him. I'm trying to move it slow. Um, but I think it would ha be good for him to get out every once in a while. He might like it if we go out on an outing. Hi, Pam. But I, I'm going to go get more water um, before I get started. And then I'm going to get started at 12.15 since I came on late. I <laughs> wonder if there shouldn't be anybody sitting back um, 
there on the other one. I mean, but he liked it, um, Irene. He he was he seemed surprised. He I mean, he makes like little growl noises. You know how babies are because they can't say everything. And then he smiled at it. He likes to duck. But yeah, having I have two grandchildren. I have I have an eleven year old grandson too. And um, just the two boys. Then I have my Eva, who's twelve, and I have two granddaughters. But yeah, it's nice. He's, he's definitely adorable. I look forward to seeing him. It is tiring a little bit though, but I, I'm adjusting. I will adjust to it and he'll adjust to we'll get a routine down and things will become smoother as time passes. It's a big change for him because he is on his mother a lot, but he does, he likes me enough that I can keep him comfortable. Oh, well, he loves me. That's what I'm going to say. But yeah, I hope you get to have a grandbaby soon too. It's um, it's nice. It's different. The the first grandson. Okay, I'm not gonna get into a whole fairy story. People are gonna leave anyways. Um, if I do that, but the first one I had Eva. So yeah, yeah, I was surprised because I'd never had one before, and I didn't even ask for them. He just started giving them to me, and I was like, oh my god, he's giving me kisses. I guess he's loving the grandma today. But um. He was making up for the half an hour walk in the hallway. <laughs> I got um, it's oh, he's not that heavy. He's not even twenty pounds, but it starts to feel heavy. But it's a matter of not being in great shape, and a little bit of overweight has something to do with that too. And I know that because I don't have arthritis or anything. But I was getting pain. But I was saying, it's the first grandson. I had a daughter seven months before he was born. It's different this time around. I love my eleven-year-old grandson, obviously, but he's the only baby now. You know. He's going to be spoiled. All right, I'm going to go get a cup of water. And I'll be right back and I'll get started. All right. I'm back. All right. I'm gonna get started. This is all buy it now today. Um, I type the price in and if anybody wants it, they just say want. You don't have to put the price in any longer. Um, you can just have want ready and push the button if you see something you like. But I'll type the price in before I say it. I've picked out, I have the normal theme, five to $30. I tried to put a variety of different types of jewelry in here that I had on hand. Um, it is all hand-picked jewelry, if that means anything. I mean, jewelry's jewelry, right, no matter where it comes from, in my opinion. As long as it's nice and you give details on what you're selling, that's what's important. Um, if there's any flaws or anything like that, because sometimes there is on all jewelry. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want the baby if anybody else. It would really make me a lot of anxiety there, because you never know what people, babies can't talk. I would be worried. We put Eva in a daycare when she was like three, but it was a fantastic one right by the hospital I worked in. I had a code and I could push, I could walk in whenever I wanted. It was very expensive, but we are in a two um, person income at that time. All right, let me get to the sale. Um, hi, Verna. I'm sorry, I could get off talk and then never start. It's 12 15. I'll start to buy it now. Sale today. Um, yeah, I feel lucky. She, she she helped a lot when she was a teenager. I'm glad to be able to, uh, to help make it easier on her because it's rough. I mean, she watched her sister a lot for me. It's rough working and not knowing what's going on. So I'm glad I can do that for her to repay her. All right, so let me get started. Um, I'm going to just start off anywhere. It's all 5 to 30 bucks. This is a fantastic necklace. Let's start off with this. I just found this. Look how lovely that is. Everything's lovely. <laughs> Did I, if I missed anybody, I'm sorry. I think I said hi to everybody. I only have 13 here right now. I wonder if a bunch of people are sitting back on my other video. I did say I was starting another one. I mean, not a bunch. Well, thank you, Emily. I try. Um, I usually have a little more than this. Maybe they'll trickle when you think the people would read the message and see I said I started another one, right? All right, look how pretty. This is glass. I don't really, it looks like crystal, but you know, the way it shines, it's not like rock crystal, I'm not saying that. Like, 
but we'll call it glass. Either way, it's really lovely. And half of these, look, it opens like that on both sides. Like the person that made this. Sorry, I'm really close. It's different on YouTube. So I have to see how my picture looks. I'm thinking of uh, doing away with StreamYard and saving myself money. Um, if YouTube is just as good here for me. This is really pretty, though. Up here we have... There is no clasp because it opens here. There's two rondelles with rhinestones. I'll call this faceted glass that shines really lovely. I don't know exactly what it is. It's very sparkly. I'll measure it. You see you have different shapes on it. This is going to be a buy it now. Let me show it again. First I'll measure it, then I'll hang it up. Then I'll type a price and see if anybody wants it. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. It drops 18 inches with this. Um, probably 17 inches of a wearable length. So you could take that off and make that a... Indeed, you're right. So you can wear this as a bracelet alone or a necklace. This is a really nice piece, I think. I don't know who the maker is on it. Somebody could have made it in their living room. I mean, I don't know. It's nice. All right, thank you. Um, do you think I? there's no other way for me to do that? I mean, I did mention that in there. All right, thank you. That, that should help. Were there people sitting there still? Just curious. All right, because um, I never make people wait that long. Maybe I never make people wait. Usually three minutes was crazy for me today. Um, <laughs> all right, this, if anybody wants this, let me put a price in. Okay, that may have been me. Hi, Leonore. Maybe people are just trickling in. Oh, Thelma, are you here, Thelma? Thelma would figure it out. I think. I don't think she'd have any problem with that. Okay, my lighting doesn't... Does that look okay in here? Let me lower my light. God, I don't want to be on the camera. Not even dressed. Well, I am dressed, but... Just look like a mess. <laughs> I feel like my lighting looks poor, and... That has nothing to do with stream art. I'll be right back. I'm going to put a price in for that necklace. I was just trying to fix my light. Oh, I'm, I'm without it. That's okay. Does the light look all right? Okay. So, for this sparkly necklace, that's glass. It's not, um, it's not plastic. It is glass. Bracelet or necklace. If anybody wants this, it's, um, Hi, D Timeless Deb. Becky, if I didn't say hello to you, I don't remember. So this is 20 if anybody wants it. Deborah, it's really lovely. Okay, thank you. Does my lighting look different than normal, guys? I feel like it looks very dull to me. Oh my God. Is StreamYard really that good of a quality of filming? Maybe they do. They claim they do. Thank you and congrats, Deborah. I'll put that in a bag for you. I see a big shadow. Do you see that? You're welcome. All right, let me not get too obsessed over that, I guess. Hmm. All right, I'll move on. I hope that's, um, the lighting looks all right. All right, I have a little... I have a Joan Rivers necklace. We'll do this one next. Well, this is a watch. I didn't change the battery on it. Um, I bought it without a battery. It looks new, though. I'm, I would assume it's working. Batteries are a buck. I guess I could have bought it and changed it. But I didn't. But I'm going to offer it and see if anybody wants it. It's Joan Rivers, the egg, um, has crystals around it. They're all there. What's that say? I guess Joan Rivers Classics or something in there. Has a long chain. I feel like I'm extra close. It's different. YouTube looks different than StreamYard. 
This is a 30 inch chain on the Joan Rivers um, watch, egg, egg watch thing, pendant watch. If anybody wants that, it's, it's 15 for the Joan Rivers. It's a new shit like shape. It's a chain, it has her tag on it and it's a spring ring clasp. I'm going to hang that there. If I don't sell it today, I'll buy a battery in it and sell it. <laughs> I should have bought, I mean, I can get a battery for a buck to test it. We'll pass on the June Rivers, I think, right? Got to make sure it works, I guess, even at that price. I'm thinking it probably does. Usually, like, a 90%. I've never, I've never bought a watch. It didn't, but I didn't know it happens. People get them all the time. Um, I think this is nice. This is a, um, like felt, I don't know, I don't think it's velvet, but those are, there's, uh, amethyst, um, little marcasites are on there, and quartz, looks like there's another pearl too, this is a snap bracelet. You can play that, Eva. You can play your instrument. Um, all right, so the bracelet is, it snaps at a seven and a half, wait a minute, oh, God, I'm getting confused. Yeah, seven and a half to an eight. And it feels like suede. Uh, I'm not, let me look at the side of it. I mean, I'm I don't know. I think it's a suede. All right. There's amethyst on their quartz, like I said. This is um, eight if anybody wants it. It snaps like this. And then you have the stones on there, the amethyst, marcasite, and quartz. Sorry, if, hopefully my voice isn't that loud. If it is, turn it down. I feel like I'm talking right on this. All right, maybe. Let me lay this here while I look at something else. All right, it, those are stones on there, but I've never seen one like this. Somebody put that together there. Um. All right, what else do I have? I'll, I'll do this. I'm going to pass on that one. I will do this. Um, this is rose quartz. This is a long, um, nice sized chunks of rose quartz. It's a strand. It's 34 inches in length. There's no clasp on it. Like I said, it is a strand. I think it's nice. If anybody wants this, um, that's 12 if anybody's interested in that. These are large chunks. They're not little, like, chunks on there. They're Let me leave it on here. I'm going to look for something else. This camera's different. It's different on YouTube than it is on StreamYard. I have more room, but the quality of the... This looks different. The lighting and so forth looks different to me. All right. Let me... Sorry, I'm still finishing my coffee. All right, I'm going to pass on that, too. All right. <laughs> Let me put it over in the corner with this. All right. This is, um, Roman brand, R-O-M-A-N, little, I showed him just yesterday. Um, you know, a take on a Duchess of Windsor. All of the companies were doing it. Signed Roman. I wiped it up and it cleaned up well, so I think this is, um, 
I don't know. It's plated or filled. I honestly, I don't know. I didn't test it. We'll just say plated, but gold plated. Rhinestones, and that's enameling. And he has a red eye. And this is about two inches. Okay. This is, um, that's 10, if anybody's interested. Signed R-O-M-A-N. That's the company, the you know, the maker. And there's the back. This is, in, it's working. It's raining out here in my area, which means it's cooling it off. It's a good thing for me. All right, I'm going to pass on him, too. All right. I don't know what to pick out. I always get like this. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's a show. Mm. All right, let me show this. Alright, how about this one? I have a Goldette. This is a signed Goldette um, with amber glass, three strands. It's signed back there. Geo, you know, Goldette. There's signature Goldette clasp. Fold over, it's signed. It's three chains. Let me straighten it out on here and have the amber glass pendant. Piece of glass, obviously. There's the nice gold colored chains. Let me measure it. This D, 24 inches on the shortest chain of the total drop is 16 inches, and the pendant is 2 inches. So this is a signed goldette, which is different than if you see one online, it looks like it's not signed. This one actually has a signature on it. Um... Okay, so for the signed Goldette, I'll sell that for 30 That That's a good price for this, if anybody's interested. It's triple chain. Hi, Deb. And it's triple strand. It's long. Let me show it like this. It's just hard to show things when your camera done, for like as long as they are. All right, hold on, I got it all knotted up. All right. <laughs> I'm having trouble. All right. Yeah, this one's actually has the gold at signature on it. And it's not tangled like tangled like. It's just, I have to, there we go, get it. There it is. It's very long. And when I hang it up, I, I can't really show it because I'm camera down. It's a little difficult. I guess I could, but I'm just going to stick this piece up. And, like, it'll drape and, you know, that won't be touching. They won't be separate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so that was 30. That's an un is it a signed gold at, not an unsigned. You have three different chains. It's a very nice necklace for thirty dollars. The unsigned ones go for a little about that, maybe a little more. All right, yippee, yippee, -o. thank you. It's nice. It's in good shape too. The amber glasses. Um, it's in good shape. Hi, team Marie. It's not scratched or anything. I should have brought the bigger bust over to show it on. It has my other. It has some necklaces on it. All right. so quiet in here. Need some background noise. Right. Yes, thank you and congrats. It's nice. Um, <laughs> Alright, let me get something out of it. I try. It's hard. It gets hard sometimes. Alright, this is cute. Um, it's Those are all glass. This is a sizable ring. I think that's pretty adorable. Um, let me get the ring sizer and tell you where it's at closed. It can be opened bigger. It's at a five and a half. You can make it bigger, though, as you see. It's just, it's a costume ring. It's glass. You have, like, that looks kind of like satiny glass down there. I don't know exactly what that's called, but you see it has a not quite cat eye. But these, this is cute. 
Five bucks if anybody wants it. It's like at a five rate, five and a half now, but you can open it. It's a costume ring. Glass rhinestones. And those are like satiny looking. Let me quit moving it. It's a cute ring. All right, Lori, thank you. Anything like I, well, I give Eva stuff. I was thinking her fingers are still too small for that, but she, it's nice actually. It's a nice ring. It's pretty. I've started giving her some jewelry. I picked some out of a, well, a nice cross necklace off the wall that she likes. It's a long one with a, um, a rhinestone cross. <laughs> She'll be looking cool in it. Okay, congrats. Thank you. It's really pretty. Okay. Yeah, you already have some stuff. All right. I always look at that. I keep my hold list on the side, and I make sure I don't double bill. You're welcome. I'm trying to make sure I don't double bill in the shipping. It happens sometimes, though, because none of us are perfect. <laughs> How about this? This is about two inches um, or three. It's a hand, as you can see, holding a mirror. That is not a plastic mirror. I mean, that is not a glass mirror. There I am, part of me. Um, that's plastic. It's cool, though, and it's like three inches this way. This is, if anybody wants this, I will sell it for, I think it's kind of cool. The pins in the back that way though you see now the messages are showing up okay that's okay i can see them on my screen it's good but then they disappear that's what's kind of odd it's different it looks it's not really it looks kind of beat up actually how right there um all right we'll pass on the hands with a mirror <laughs> i had that in my background for a while then I just stopped using it back there. Um, next, next. How about well, this? Is cute. Look at this. Look at this. Um, this this is glass. Look, it's like three inches. It's a nice pendant to stick on something if you like the glass or glass type of thing. Look. That's not painted on her, that's glass mixed in with this glass. Hi, CF, um, KF, are you new? Welcome if you are, if you've been here before. Um, hello again. <laughs> hi, Melanie. Okay, hi, I, I said hi to you, Tiny Debra. Okay, so anyways, um, it's nice. I think it would look better on something besides this, but that's three inches, that's a piece of glass there, and it's on this cord with that strip. But, okay, let me measure it in case somebody wants to buy it and actually, and wants to wear it with this. She might, it kind of matches it actually, because um, there is some brown mixed in the glass there. But it measures a total of, I'm moving slow today, can you tell? 16 inches of a total drop. Um, 16 with a two inch extender so there that's that that's glass it's cool it's a cool piece of glass you have this on it you can move this on to something else hi kathy see how big that is and it's well made mixed glass i don't know what you call that i'm not an artist of any sense couldn't even draw stick people um but anyways if anybody wants this necklace with that pendant that's eight bucks it's pretty cool three inch mixed glass i think that's pretty nice actually okay yippee thank you mind you the partridge family oh on their bot i don't i watched a story did, about their life the other day um like a couple weeks ago it was kind of good sorry kathy um yippee came in first but thank you congrats you're welcome. I don't know, know um, a whole lot about them. I never watched them as a kid. But um, when I saw them, I mean, that it was coming, I decided to watch it because I heard there was some controversy. They didn't make it as controversial as they could have, I don't think. But hi, Judy. I'm sure worse went on than what they showed. 
Well, that's just me. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't think that way. Um, but I can imagine more. Sid, uh, let me show this. Thank you. That's nice of you to say, Judy. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm moving a lot slower today. I'm trying. Um, all right. I, I think it's a sterling. I, oh, good God. I'm not going to scrape it now. This is amethyst. And I don't know what that is. All right. But amethyst hair um hi d i feel like i should be giving more details on but that's all right it's a lot of nice pieces of amethyst hair or is that florite this is amethyst these chunks here definitely but this con questionably could be florite is it i think they're stones and i think that's a stone and i'm pretty <laughs> listen to me i let me scratch it that bothers me i'm sorry i did curry caught myself Never mind. I'm just going to give a price on it if anybody wants to take a habit. If not, I'll bring it back later. I, yeah, okay, sorry. 15 inches around the neck. That's what you have. You have some amethyst. I believe that's fluoride on the bottom. And this, I don't know what that is. And there's the hook. All right. Oops, sorry about that. Hopefully it wasn't too loud in yours. I'm just going to throw a price on it. Okay. All right, I'll check it when I'm done. This is, um, it's 15. If, if it doesn't sell it, then I'll test the silver and everything at it and bring it back. But, um, it's nice, actually, I think. All right, Deborah, thank you. I am pretty certain it's sterling. I scratched it, and I, I didn't write it down. I just scratched it last night, but it was really late. <laughs> I was up late preparing. Um, picking things out. But thank you, congrats. Is that your first thing to I feel like you have something else. Who is Lori has the ring and Yeah, you have that. You have the really pretty pink necklace. Let me put your last name on here actually. On the pink one. I mean, they're both going in the same bags now, but thank you. I have the I'm gonna show you guys. Um I have the G Givenchy dog. Remember him gold plated? I'm gonna offer him cheaper than anywhere I've seen. Um, just why not? There's the markings. That's Givenchy, New York, I think. It says no, it just says Givenchy and Givenchy with the G's. He's verifiable, definitely. Um, gold plated, it, and it says on here Givenchy again, and that's a crystal, and that's a crystal in the eye. They use crystal in their jewelry, and it, jewelry, and it's gold plated. But this is adorable little. It's a one and three quarter inch, almost two inch dog. I'm gonna do this at um, at that. If anybody wants the Givenchy dog, it's thirty. It's in good shape. The gold's not faded off. The pin is an operational rolling. It's firm. And. He's cute. And that's a good deal for him. It's like, the, I think a little less than half of what I saw him online at the cheapest. Okay, Patty Bell. Thank you. All right, let me get back to some of this other stuff. Um, He's pretty adorable. But I, I don't wear him. All right. Now, that's Eva's jewelry. I was going through and picking things out for the child. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, wait, I'm reading up. All right. I have plastic necklaces. How about a West Germany ones? Anybody into West Germany? I mean, this is plastic. Signed West Germany on the back. I don't really don't know the aging on this. I believe it's vintage, but I mean, it, it is vintage. It's plastic. Like molded plastic. It's red. You can see double strand. Let me measure it. It is a total of... Let me open it. I can't tell. Without that. So, it's a total of 18 inches for the um, West Germany, Red West Germany necklace. You have different shapes of plastic. 
molded plastic. You see, these are kind of like faceted. Well, they are faceted, but it's all plastic. Um, they did a thing with plastic. Um, so Japan. Okay, there it is. I think it's cool. I'll put a price in. A that's that's eight if anybody wants it. Me and my plastics. <laughs> I think a lot of plastic. But this is old. I believe this is mid-century. All right. T. Marie, thank you. All right. Thank you, thank you. Let's see. Let me move. Oh, here, how about these? This is nice. These are sterling silver. Um, sorry, I didn't mean sterling silver pieces. And you see what's going on there. It's a little cube. I'm going to call it glass cube. Um, it kind of looks like it has an AB on it, but the pieces are all sterling silver. These are nice, I think. They're 10 if anybody wants them. They're about a two inch drop and they are wires. As you can see, it's all sterling, sterling ball, these pieces, and that is glass. Sterling and glass earrings with a sterling wire. This piece here is probably a little over an inch, not much. They're kind of small. They're classy looking, I think. Very nice. All right, Lori, thank you and congrats. They're nice. The details are nice on them. All right. Find your bag. Use a little brain. There we go. All right. Let me move on. I'm still. I'm drinking cold coffee. Kind of disgusting. Oh. Well, it's my breakfast. You're welcome. No, I ate. I didn't. Oh, all right. Let me show this. I was Jibon. Not Jibon. This is no. This is Swarovski. For God's sake. Swarovski. I, they do use uh, Swarovski crystals in their jewelry. Though this is Swarovski of a swan. I've shown this before. It is. Gold plated crystals and black enamel. I think I showed it not long ago, actually. Um, it has the swan in the back. Okay, and it's a nice chain. It's gold plated. Fold over clasp. Let me measure it. Um, I'm going to open it up because I can't. These ones never measure correct when you. I don't think they do when they're closed. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello, purple ring. 16 inches around the neck. Opened up here. Um, like I said, it's a little Swarovski gold plated in crystals and black enamel necklace. Let me move it back. There we have it. It's nice. Um, I will do that for, for, for this today. I, I think that's a good buy. It's not faded or anything. It's in, it's in good shape. But there's that. Let me leave that lay there and look through the rest here. I have a variety in each category. Right, and in each price range. Just. <laughs> Separated by price. Um, all right, let me grab this. All right, I'm going to pass on that and put that over. Let me put it back in its bag. Be careful. Stones fall out of things. Well, that not that. It's a little better made, but it does. It's, it's happened to me. I try not to leave my stuff laying in a container together. I have shadows. Does my lighting look okay on your end? 
If somebody could tell me that it's a picture, good. It's hard for me to tell. This this thing here, these are star scarf clips, I think, or some kind of enhancer. They have a Japanese um, writing assignment. It needs the label cleaned off of it. I, I didn't clean it off. Um, they're kind of cool, though. Like, it's Japanese writing, and then it says a patent number. This is going to look... Hold on, let me see if I can get some of that label off. No, I can't. But if you see, you see Japanese writing in there, that needs cleaned off, and there's a patent number, and... I think this is a scarf clip, cloisonne style. Um, I don't know if it's true cloisonne. Uh, there is a Japanese writing under there, um, but let me look. Well, whatever. I'll just offer it and see if anybody wants it. I have two of them. This one has the same thing written under it. Also, as a label, it needs removed off of it. But look, there. If anybody wants these, I'll do them both for... Um, For eight. This one's about an inch and a half. I don't know what these are. Your guess is good as mine. Maybe a scarf type thing or something. <laughs> yeah, here's how it opens. Look. Like you push it there, it opens. That's a tag that needs to come off. It has the Japanese writing and then it has a patent number in here. Um, ew, what's that? I don't know what that was. Um, but I don't know what they are. I don't know. I guess maybe I'll hang on to them and figure out what they are at some point. I may see them in a book or something, you know. But they're cool. Different. I don't know what they are. I'll pass on them, I think. I didn't even try to research them. I had no idea. Like at all. So. Or she lost completely on that one. How about this little thing? This is cute. Look. Yeah, like an enhancer type thing that holds strands together. That's possible. They're nice, actually. Um, it's pretty. Look at them. Okay. That's probably what they are, Deb. That's what I think I said enhancer, right? That's what that is, right? An enhancer holds strands, I think. Um, this is cute. It says, though she be but little, she is fairest. They're talking about the bees, or I guess you could consider that about a person if you wanted. Um, there. It's cute. I don't... It's to hang somewhere. I guess you could wear it around your neck if you wanted. Look. I think it's a hanger. My lighting's darker than StreamYard, huh? Yeah, that bothers me. It's not a good thing. Um, maybe it's a little bit better if I move closer to the light. It might be. I got to be arm's length, though. Okay, so this is cute. It's about three-inch drop. Yeah, the lighting, maybe I just need to get another light. Um, I'm contemplating not using StreamYard because they charge you. Or I could use the free version, I guess. Anyways, let me hang this up and try to fix my other light. This is pretty cute. That is a buy it now. That's a buy it now of eight if anybody wants that. That's enameling on there. It's silver tone. It's got a little weight to it. Like perhaps it's pewter or something, but I don't know. Let me fix my light. Okay, just a little bit. I think this thing's breaking. So I'm out one, one down, one light some of the times. It shuts itself off because the cats have knocked it over so many times. That should improve the lighting a little bit. Kathy, you want that? Okay, thank you. I'll put that in a bag for you. I think that's the first thing to learn. What's this? Yeah, that's Yippee. -o. And Patty Bell got the dog. All right. Did that, I, I, I don't know, did that help my lighting? I don't even know if it did. Yeah, or by your window, by your plants, I think, too. Yeah, it's cute. Thank you, Kathy. Congrats. Um... It's probably still a little dark. I'll deal with it. I'll buy myself another ring light. I wanted to test it out and see how YouTube worked because it's free. And, um, I'll compare to go in and do a test and compare. I have to figure out how to sign on from the video I schedule, though. <laughs> that was a little stressful for me. I couldn't figure it out. All right. 
it helps that that helped a little bit all right thank you i i um when i go over here hold on just let me one more thing i'll be right back i probably needed to adjust the lights different stream yard is different than youtube um filming apparently if you're in a studio in stream yard you seem to get I think it's better quality overall of the lighting and so forth on their, like, you know. But YouTube can be worked with. And as well, I think. Just have to change the lighting positions and so forth, probably. Alright, let's see if that helps any. Okay. For now. I think it's a little bit better. Okay, thank you. I'm back. Sorry about that. I been interrupting when I'm doing I try not to do that. No, how about no let me get back in here. I showed these the other day. Um these are bracelets. Glowy looking. They don't have any seams in them. They're continuous. I don't know the type of plastic. 20 for that T Marie. It was 20. Um it has yeah black enamel and they're crystals. And it's gold plated, you know, they're all their jewelry is. That was 20 bucks. I think I said it was 16 inches. If you want that, let me know. The lighting looks better now. Okay, I'll work with it more. I make it another light for the angle. I have to, I'm saving 25 a month, so <laughs> I may as well. All right, these are plastic, um, they're well made and they have a little weight to them. Well, I'll do one at a time, I'll measure it. You're welcome. These look moon glow. I, I don't know if they're lucite or plastic, though. Um, a little over two and a half inches. You have room in there. My wrist is like a six and a quarter. There's that one. If anybody wants this, it's... um. Oh, that's completely the wrong price. Sorry. It's five. Same thing for this one. Five each. Five dollars each if anybody's interested. You can have one or both or neither if nobody wants. <laughs> but, hi, Mishka. Which one do you want, Judy? They look loose-sidey, don't they? All right, so Judy came in first. Do you want the black or white one or both? I think these are loose sight. At least a piece is put on the top into the top is okay. Sorry, Mishka. Okay, Judy. Cigarettes. All right. I think this is your first thing. I have more. I have more. I have plenty more. <laughs> Judy and yeah, you just you just um. I think last time was your first, uh, uh, you just sent me your information last week, right? I think I have it. Like I said, it takes me um, a little while to remember the names. I mean, I recognize your name, but I mean in regards to selling. All right, thank you. All right, so. Bracelet rehab. I have a nice last one. Um, let's see, what's next? Oh, how about this? I've had this for quite some time. I paid more than what I'm going to sell it for, but that's perfectly fine and okay with me. Um, see if anybody wants it. Okay, thank you. Silver, sterling silver. And there, this is smoky topaz, I think. These are stones. They're nice, look. And this is a piece of glass, and it has a... Um, it has that there. I feel like this needs restrung. Um, it's a little stiff, but it is doable if you can wear something like that. I don't really like them tight on my neck. I feel like I can't breathe, especially if it's right up there, if it's a little heavy. And this does have a little weight too, because it's stone and glass. This is a 15, it stretches out at 15 and a half inches. This would be great restrung, but I'm not going through the effort to do that, so I'm going to sell it. It's lovely though. Sterling silver toggle and you're working. All right, sorry. I just clinked them together. All right, glass and I think it is smoky topaz. 
Oh, am I saying that right? It's a stone. Okay, it's nice. It's nice. It's a good necklace. But um, somebody may wear it that way, and somebody may restring it. I'm gonna. I I paid a lot more for it. If it doesn't sell at that, it's okay. Um, thirty. I think it's strung on metal of some sort. But, um, I wish I, I need to learn how to string jewelry. And maybe I could, like, do it myself. Yeah, I think it's really nice. Um, it's 15 and a half inches. It's, it's a little stiff, though. I mean, that's not a good selling point for me to admit that. Um, I think maybe somebody <laughs> would want to restring it. It's a very nice piece, but it's a little stiff for me. I like a more free flowing hygiene on my neck. You know what I mean? But I like it. All right, I'll pass on out. I'm going to leave it there for a minute while I look for something else. <sighs> Sorry. I'll keep this. It's starting to feel warm. Oh my God, look at this thing. Let me show you this. Let's pass on that. I might have it restrung. I don't know how to do it myself. A big baby. I don't know how. Okay. See what this is? All right. Um, it's a Louis Vuitton thing. I looked them up and I was shocked to see what they were charging for them. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, I, I don't like that feeling. It's very nice combo i think it, it may be some little sterling balls put in between it or something this is a pintrell p-i-n-t-r p-i-n-t-r-i-l-l -L, louis vuitton pintrell pin um these things go for a pretty penny a pretty penny <laughs> which i i don't understand but there's a lot of things i don't understand but there it is Louis Vuitton, um, I have it upside down, um, no, or do I, no, Pintrell.com, Louis Vuitton Pintrell pin, here's the back of it, and it has, all right, I don't know if anybody knows what this is, but if I don't sell it for this, I'll put it online for, and get that at least, or more, but it's insanely priced, these are high, and I don't understand it. I'm sorry, I can't understand it. Um, but they sell for a lot of money. And Lori understands why, and Anna doesn't. All right, I was sure it's Lori for $30. Congrats. I saw one for $150. I saw one for $70. Like, insane. I got this in a, um, I got it fairly cheap, so I'm happy to give it to you at that. Um, congratulations. Okay. They have little cars and stuff, too. Congrats. I was looking them up last night, and I was shocked. I, I really was. Not going to lie. I was like, it's hurting me right now. <laughs> okay. Have something. Oh, you have these two. All right. Moving on to, oh, a little, little 1928 necklace. Yeah, it's all right. I knew what you meant. <laughs> The spell check gets me sometimes on this. It, it spells the wrong words sometimes. This is a little 1928 necklace. It's really adorable. Look, there's the little tag. It says 1928. It's like a gunmetal finish. Isn't that cute? Little 1928 necklace. That's about a three quarters of an inch. Um, it's 16 inches with a three inch extender for the little one. I do give measurements. I don't care how much it costs. I still have to know if it's gonna fit you, right? Um, as many details as I can, regardless of what the price is. Um, because in my opinion, no matter what purchase you make, it deserves some respect and consideration. All right, so this here is a 1928, and it's like a gunmetal, and it's a nice little necklace. Um, that's $5 if anybody wants it. It 
it's cute. It's like gunmetal. And tiny and dainty. Little necklace. Those are purplish. The ones, the one in the middle is purplish, and the other ones are blue. But that's five. If anybody wants it, let me move on. Find something else. I'm gonna do a lot. All right. No interest in that. I think it was long enough, right? I'll need to leave it up there. Too long. Um, let me find the space. Oh, you want that, Pam? It's it's cute. It's a nice little necklace. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Maybe I'm moving too fast. Um, I'm known to be fast with this. <laughs> Do I? Is I can ruin it? Okay. All right. Um. All right. So that is a 1928 necklace. Dainty one. Hey. All right, let me show this a lot. I'm going to use my Buxton box. Thank you, Pam. Congrats. The box is a little beat up, but it's just cold, so it's being used. Um, not good sleep. I keep, I'm keeping earrings in there. I started a little bit already. I'm going to put earrings in here, like earrings that I have to look into for the most part and test gold and sterling that type of thing all right so this is a lot of a jewelry lot it has a number of different types of things in it um well kind of this is glass look it's at least an 18 inch necklace um I'll give you a quick one so why not um see if I'm right yeah it's 18 inches with a three inch extender on this and this is glass it looks like a cat's eye type thing it looks mother of pearly but I I don't know maybe it is there's that necklace as I look at it this is mother of pearl this is a bracelet it's one of those something somebody put together which is amazing work if you ask me that I can't do um this is seven and a half or eight inches on that bracelet. It's a wide one. Then I have this. This has glass and stone beads. Um, there's some stone included in there. Most of this is glass, I believe. Hi, Guadalupe. This is um, six to, this is a small one, six to six and a half inches. I mean, I think it's cute. Again, amazing work that I can never do. I appreciate it. Um, somebody... People have talent that can do those types of things. All right, some other pearl necklace. This is a strand. This is about 20 inch, 22 inches. Mother of pearl strand. Then I have this little, I don't know what the content is on this gold tone, gold filled. I have no idea. I didn't test it. Um, another little necklace. This one's like 16 inches. And I have no idea what's going on there. That might need placed back down there, but that's a blue mother of pearly. Rice pearls, this is a memory wire bracelet, memory bracelet. Those are pearls. And these are pearls as well. Um, and I believe those are just gold toned by the look of them and look of the, look of the clasp. Um, this is a jewelry lot. It's 18 inches. I think that's glass on there as well, but those are pearls. Salt water, I mean fresh water, not salt This is, if anybody wants that um, lot, it is, that's 12. Those are pearls. Get the pearls on here with glass, I believe. And the mother of pearl. Like dyed balloon. The white. This is a nice strand. All right, Kathy. 12 bucks for those. Thank you. I have an eight. I have, well, it's 10 pounds thing of jewelry coming in. We'll see how that goes. Ray, I usually don't buy those a whole lot. Real often, I saw a couple things that looked good in it, though. Um, hopefully, I'll get some good things in it. Wasn't too expensive. I see some of them going for like hundreds and hundreds of dollars on there. On, it's insane. All right. What's next? I'll do this strand. This is Mother of Pearl. I swear, I swear I just offered this. If 
if I did, I'm sorry. Like I said, it all starts to run together. There's spacers in between. Those are mother of pearl pieces. This may have been at another Thrifty Thursday. <laughs> I think I just showed it in my video. It's 34 inches, and I think the clasp is sterling, but I don't know. It do I, I don't know what the content is. It doesn't really matter. Um. All right, so 34 inches mother of pearl strand with a clasp, which means you could double this if you wanted. Sorry, I was closing it. That looks so good. The computer, I mean, the um, camera is different on here than... um. That needs tightened right there. I can do that easily. Anyways, if anybody wants this, it's eight. Yeah, that's just needs squeezed right there. If not, no big deal. Nobody will. All right. You hear that cat? Midnight wants in with his uh, owner, and she won't let him in. He climbs in her window and rips uh, the blind down. All right, so we'll pass on that. Okay, that needs tightened anyways. All right, I have... I have a buckle bracelet here. This is nice, I think. This is silver tone. It's it's not look. It's a bracelet. Like, hold on. Let me put it on. Somewhat put it on. Well. Oh. This will fit like any size wrist, basically. I think. It's a buckle bracelet. I don't have it snapped on there. Perfect. But, um, it's silver tone buckle bracelet. <laughs> it's in good shape. You twist it around your arm twice, like so. I feel so close to this camera. Okay, you get the idea. Um, <laughs> I'm trying. The camera's, the, the way the quality of the filming is much different on here. I, I'll get used to it though. All right, that's 10 if anybody wants it. Silver tone buckle bracelet. I don't see any Micah's mark on it and it is a space metal silver tone. There's all the holes. It's cool. Let's leave that lay there for a minute. Do so I have any crafters in here? Any people that know how to fix things? Let me pass on that. Um, all right. <laughs> eh, this is Thrifty Thursday, so I can do this. Um, the, <laughs> these are amber and sterling. It's actually nice amber in there. But look, I didn't notice this, and I'm not a, I'm not. A, I don't fix stuff like this, or I could. Like, I'll, you just have to get that like foamy glue off there, which is easy to take off and put a new clasp on it. Maybe that's far reaching, but it's not a hard fix for somebody that does this type of thing. It's seriously probably like 15 minutes or something. But amber and sterling silver clip bearings, and they're nice. But if I don't sell, that's fine. Maybe I'll try to fix them myself. I do need to start fixing. These are 10 bucks. I don't know how I missed that when I bought these. I mean, it looks like somebody took the stuff you insulate your house with. It's some kind of glue that they use, apparently. And they, like, they stuck that on there. I don't know. How'd I miss that? The nice earrings besides that. <laughs> All right. Maybe it was... I'll put these in my craft box. I'm going to start. I've been slowly working myself. Is that Gorilla Glue? Oh, so that is Gorilla Glue hard to get off. I actually picked a piece off easy. I'll play around with them and try to fix them. Gorilla Glue. So that's why it expands it like that. Oh, it looks terrible. I didn't notice it, though. I mean, how did I miss that when I picked these up? I don't know. Because I was moving fast. It was a competitive uh, place in the store. and I found some great things. That's a little lost, but not much. I'll fix them. Maybe I'll wear them. That's something I could try to pick the Gorilla Glue off. It should be fun. I didn't know what that was. I'm like, why would they put something like that on the earrings? 
That's way too much glue, too. Like, what is... What's wrong? Like, why'd they use so much? You don't need... They should have bought the jewelry glue. All right. I've offered this before. This is Liz Tech. For more, I offered it. Okay, just get that backing off. Stick a razor blade through. Maybe then acetone or something. A little Liz Tech. It's marked. It really expanded. They used a lot. This... I believe had something stuck on there, like a pendant thing. I don't know. Let me stop selling my broken stuff. Forget the list. <laughs> That's really terrible. These are sterling silver. They have a nice lock on them. You see like a lever back Paris earring. And they are sterling. Let me offer these. The list text is adorable. Um, these are 10 if anybody wants them. They're sterling silver. There's the back. They're not marked that I could see but I tested them, and you can tell, they look like sterling. Paris, they have like that diamondique type look. Not diamondique, I forget what that's called. A company that, when it would make their jewelry, would put the glittery almost, but it's a little textured. They're a nice pair of quality earrings. Okay, Guadalupe, thank you. Ten bucks. I'll, I'm going to put the Liz Tech back on my stand. All right. Yeah, the amber earrings things. Gorilla glue. I'll never use it. I bought jewelry glue, um, which you only need a drop of to fix anything. And I've just started trying to fix my own things. All right, let me... And look, I showed this. And this... Um, this is the Estee Lauder uh, perfume compact. Estee Lauder. And I believe these are from the 90s. So it does expand in heat or something, I guess. All right, my offer is cheaper than I saw it anywhere else. I mean, I already did on Monday, but even cheaper because I really have no use for the turtle. I could hold on to it, but it makes me anxious. Um, <laughs> for the turtle, Estee Lauder, little perfume compact, as you see. This is about two and a half inches. Let me tell you how big the turtle is. The turtle's two inches, a little over. If anybody wants this, I will sell it for for that. Yeah, we're <laughs> wow, gorilla glue's bad. I people, somebody was saying on their on their um one of their videos like of fixing jewelry. I'd seen it. I don't remember who it was, but they were saying to use gorilla glue. I mean, I didn't use gorilla glue. I afraid. All right, it's the Estee Lauder Perfume Compact Turtle. It's empty. Oh, I'm really sorry. Jesus. All right, I'll leave that later. That's 28. Let me find something else. Something new, maybe. <laughs> it's, um, that's a good price for it. Okay, Alina, thank you. Congrats. Some people, like, I'd seen this online, $109, um, $70, $55, I don't know, $28 is the cheapest, I think. You're going to find him unless you find him somewhere. All right, Alina, hello, thank you. And $28 is fine with me. Don't always have to get the most money. Um, we'll call it the Estee Lauder Turtle Compact because that's what it is. Thank you. cement glue. You saw that video. You probably saw one I was talking about. I don't remember who it was. I think my glue is like for metal and um, I don't know exactly, but I just only used it once and it worked extremely well. All right, let me show. Oh, this. This is Tiger Eye and this is Sterling Silver on this. These are all Sterling, these pieces. And it's Tiger Eye. This is measuring um, a total of 16 inches with a 2 inch extender. Let's see, it's Tiger Eye with, with sterling pieces. There's two little pieces in between each one. 
it's a decent amount of, of sterling. That's 10 if anybody wants it for this necklace. These are all sterling. I can't remember this back here or not. Um, I don't remember, but I did test these and they are the little pieces. I have a couple brooch lots, not any earring lots. I um, I, I tried looking through my stuff. It's hard. All right, I guess I'll pass on that. I think that was long enough. Let me see what else I have. Um, I have an Eisenberg brooch it's a circle brooch and it's signed Eisenberg back here it kind of there it is I, I don't want to enlarge it um that's what it looks like it's not in perfect condition um this is like a two inch brooch but let me offer it see if anybody's interested if not no big deal um that's 14. You have different colored stones, predominantly clear. These ones look a little colored, you know, have a little bit of color loss on them, but you have blue, red, and then orange up pair. And, but that's that. Kind of looks like a Christmas wreath. It's a vintage Eisenberg. Some of the stones are pronged and some aren't. All right, I'm gonna lay that there and, and look in my baskets here for something else. Um, is there any plastic lakers here? Plastic lakers. Let me offer this. Let me pass on that. I'll just keep that one just to have it. Um, this is plastic. This is vintage. It's plastic. Okay. Um, I don't know if I if I've offered this before. Again, we have different shapes on it. There, white and red, and it's long. It's like 30 inches, 32 inches or something. It is 28 inches, I'm off. Okay, so it's a pla red plastic necklace um, with a, a barrel clasp, it's brass. And that's glass, I mean plastic, that is a plastic necklace, not glass. glass. If anybody wants it, it's five. It's different shapes and colors. Well, the red has different shapes. The white are balls, and these are metal. So it's that kind of. Can't really call this a candy stripe one. It doesn't really look like that. All right, I'm gonna pass on it. I think it was long enough. Um, I can move some of the jewelry over here. Give me one second. It's starting to take my, my space up. All right, that's good. Okay. Um, these are, um, this is 1420 gold filled here. It's marked on the side. It's 20% um, 14K filled on this in the balls. That's a tag. I, I there we go. It'll come off. It's all right. So it's a that type of clasp. And this I don't know what that is. Okay, but these are pearls. So it's gold filled balls and a gold filled clasp on this. And I think this is some kind of stone. All of those are gold filled. Twenty percent, fourteen k. And there. And these are like the rice pearls. All right, let me, I'll give a measurement and I'll put a price up to see if anybody wants this. Um, this is a total of 26 inches and here's what the necklace looks like. All right, for that, 
That that's fourteen. If anybody wants it, let me show this big necklace. Here. Okay, I'm going to pass on that one. Um, I'll try to figure out what type of stone that is on there anyways. Um, all right, this is a big, this is cool, I think. Big stone necklace. It has a barrel clasp. And these are graduated in size. Kind of look fiery um, underneath some of them. Um. This necklace measures, it's a total of 22 inches. What is this guys, agate? <laughs> it's like got a lot of different designs going on on it. And I think it's cool. Um, they're graduated in length until, well, you know, smaller get down to this large one. And I think all of the balls in between are brass on this, like the clasp. So for this um, big stone necklace here, um, there it is doubled up. All right, for that, I don't know, what am I going to say? Um... I'll do that for 13. God. Hold on. I think it says agate. That's what it looks like to me. It's hot in here. I feel hot. All right, Kathy, thank you and congrats. It's pretty. I, th I think it's cool. I think it's an agate. I struggle with the stones still. It looks like there's banded agate on here. I see, like, or bullseye. I Stone. It's definitely not glass. I know that. Sorry, Lori. Um, Kathy came in first. All right, let me see what else I have that might be interesting. How about him? These are all different prices jumping around. Oh, I'm sorry, Lori. It's not a, It's not an auction. I'm doing buy it now on everything here. Mondays, I do some auction. I mainly do buy it now. Oh, sorry. Jesus. I do need a mat under her. This is a bumblebee, okay? That is plastic. The rest are rhinestone, and there's enameling on this. It's cool. This is workable or in working order. It has rhinestones in the feet, eyes, and all in the wings, and they're all there. It's about a two inch, it's about a two inch pin. I think it's cool. Oh, which one was the one before? This, the gold filled one with the 1420 gold filled in rice pearls. And I think those are Jaspers. It's the one you wanted. Is that the last one I showed guys? I think so. Wait, yeah, it's this one. Say so, yes. <laughs> so I can make sure because um, I can't lie and get myself confused. I think it's the last one I showed. Okay, thank you. That's a nice necklace. You'll, when you see it, you'll see it's very, um, it's nice. All right, thank you. And I'll get back to the B. Um, this is... Let's put gold filled pearls. I know what it is. I, I like to have details so I can detail my invoice. I just pull the slips out and do my invoicing from that. It's easy. Um, thank you, Lori, and thank you, Kathy. Congrats. This is a bumblebee. It's about two inches and plastic and rhinestones. Rhinestones clustering hair on the feet and the eyes up there. And enamel. And it's a costume pin. I don't know how old it is. I'm not going to say it's vintage because I don't think it is. But it's cute. And if anybody wants it, it's $6. It's pretty cool, actually. It's fairly well made. 
but I don't think he's vintage. Nothing's missing. <laughs> I had a bag. It had twin birds in it. One's missing wings and the other one's missing feet. All right, congrats. Thank you, Judy. Um, There's nothing I can say to them because of where I bought them at, but I'm like, I need whatever. I got good things in the bag, too. Not not everything's going to come out. Um, not everything's great when you get a bag of um, jewelry. Sometimes you have things in there good and sometimes you don't. And that's just how it is. You already have a bag in here. But let me find that. Oh, wow. Oh, my thumbless name was still in there. Um, for me, it was that I reused my bags. Okay, let me find George Judy. I think you got the bracelets, right? Those Link lady. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. All right, I might use that. Let me, um... All right, I have these two glass necklaces. These are going to... I'm going to... It'll be a choice or both. How's that? Just to get the mirror through like the same. It is for this clasp is 14. This is a 14 karat gold filled clasp. Okay, this is this is old. Um, it's strung. See what it's strung on? This is an old necklace. This is glass. It shines like crystal. I don't know. I maybe lead crystal. It's it's glass, I think. Either way, it's the same price. I have two of them. That one's strung on a fabric. This one's barrel class strung on uh, on glass. I mean, oh, goodness. On chain. So I have two of them. It'll be buy it now, one or both. You know, choice. So they measure. They These are short necklaces. Um, or both short necklaces. They're 16 inches around the neck. Okay. It's one, it's it, like for the choice. If you only want one, it'll be one on chain, one on, or one of the gold filled on the very old. Almost looks like something's missing off that, but I think it's just a stretch. It's an old necklace, can be restrung or something. But anyway, so choice for these. Um, Nine dollars. Um, and it would be 18 if you want both. So this one's on chain, has a barrel clasp. It does have spacers of those little pieces of glass in between. One of my lights went out again. Same thing with this one. That's a gold filled class, 14K gold filled. And this one is, um... all right, Gina, which one do you want? One of these, which one do you want? There's this one on a chain. And then there's the one that's old. <laughs> this is old. That's all I can say about this. I can... Both? Okay. For 18 for Gina. Thank you, Gina. My light keeps blinking off and on. I need new lighting. Probably two. I'm going to order, like, another one of the good ones I have out front. Just pay a little... In the front of me, pay a little more to get something better. Two glass necklaces. All right. Thanks, Gina. All right. Next, you're welcome. How's about how about this? This is a cute little set. This is a little was strange to me when I found it, but now I look hi Sharon. I look dark. It looks dark in here. These are real pearls. These ones, but this is not like that's not real. And this is like Germany or something. I thought on here. Probably lead crystal. All right. Um, pearls with fake pearls surrounding it. Okay, that's all I got to say about this necklace. And there's a bracelet that goes with it. See? This is not real pearls here, but these ones in the middle are. That was a cute little set. I'm going to offer it really. Somebody, I mean, it's wear, I can wear it if you like this type of thing. It's dainty. It is a seven inch bracelet with, like I said, those pearls are real right here. Look at that one. Looks like it has a, a head on it. All right, brook pearl there. Um, these are pinkish and they don't look dyed. And then in the center, if this, let me measure the necklace. 
is a little drop there. It's total length. It's a box clasp. Total length on the necklace is 16 inches. And the bracelet, I already gave the measurement on. So for both of these, if anybody wants this, for the little set, it's six. There are nice pearls in there. Wow. I don't even know how they... Like, they have it strung. They put holes in them. That's how they have it strung. <laughs> Somebody handmade this. I feel like my lighting looks worse now that light went out. It's really annoying. Um, I'm going to leave this hang here for a minute, and I'll be right back. That's six bucks if anybody wants to little set. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll hold those stuff. Um, if we go over, like, um, a pound, then I can just charge priority and ship it. I can ship up to 70 pounds. As long as we don't have, like, there has to be only under 15 pieces of jewelry or something. Because I need to make sure it's boxed um, safely, you know, so nothing's going to get messed up. But this lighting's going to be nuts. Um, I bought a really cheap light, which I won't do that again. I'm going to spend a little bit more to get a better one for over there. That keeps on dying out. Okay, so we'll pass on this little thing. Maybe I'll give that to Eva to wear. I'm always passing jewelry off to my child. Um, sometimes she hasn't worn it. Sometimes it's unwanted jewelry. Okay, how about this? These are nice. I have two of them. Uh, this is a brass one. These are mother of pearl. I've shown them before. Okay, this one is brass and inlay mother of pearl, and this one's silver tone. That one has a seam, and inlaid mother of pearl. The other one doesn't. The brass one's seamless. Um, these are two and a half inches each. See, there's a lot of room in there. Two and a half inches. These are a buy it now, like a choice for these of, or you can have both. Oh, six dollars, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I can, I can imagine that is not a bid. <laughs> because who would pay that? That was six bucks, guys. So I'm so sorry. This little set was six dollars. Faux pearls surrounding nice pink pearls. Um, good God. No wonder nobody wanted it. Okay, that was six. These two. Thank you, Emily. I didn't even notice that. These two are five each. If anybody wants them, that's brass. And it's mother of pearl inlay. This one's silver tone with mother of pearl. That's crazy. I can't believe I put that in there as that. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Guess I better pay more attention to what I'm doing. All right. No interest in these. All right. I'll pass on those. Did that go off right? No, I'm typing onto something else now. Um. Did Did anybody think I was crazy for that? I guess they heard me say six dollars because I did say it verbally too afterwards. It's definitely not worth that. Um, I have a Trafari, Trafari TM set. This is a a necklace in a spring ring clasp. It's marked Trafari TM here. It's um. This is an an, uh, an acrylic or plastic in there, and I have a bracelet with it. I'll measure them both. Trafari TM. 90s or after. I don't know the exact dating off, but it looks brand new. Oh, uh, yeah, if somebody comes back and watches it. I do get, well, yeah, people do watch the Thrifty Thursdays probably more in my regular auctions. No. <laughs> after effect. Um, this is a 24 inch chain on this um, Trafari TM. 1990s or later. I don't know the exact dating on it, but it looks brand new. Well, it wouldn't be in, it would be early 2000s if that. It wouldn't be carrying on. I don't think they make that anymore. That's Trafari trademark. And now it's different. They bought by a um, 
I can't remember the exact details behind it, but seven and a half inches on this. Bought by a different company now. All right, so you get the bracelet and the necklace. They match. If anybody wants this, it's, um, this is $11 for the Trafari TM necklace. It's in good shape. And bracelet. All right, um, Judy was in first, Alina. Sorry. So let me put back Laura. Oh, I'm, I'm going to write myself in it to hold your, your stuff. Okay. 12, 11, I mean, for 4 ATM. So thank you. There you are. All right. Thank you. Let's see what's next. How's about? How about these little pins? Why not? Hi, Ashley. These are these are just small pins I put together. A little dog. It's wood with some type. I think it's wood. It's a name laying over it. No maker's mark on it, but he has a lacquer over him. It's about an inch and a half, an inch and three quarter. Pretty cute. There's that. This swan, this is Avon, um, swan, this is plastic and metal. That's an Avon. These are small pins. This is mother of pearl and it looks like gold plating or I don't really know, brass something, but that's a butterfly and that's real mother of pearl in there. This one's plastic and glass. This is an Avon phone, adorable. Um, you unpin it and you can hang, put the receiver over on this side. You know, where you're talking through. Over to there. That's Avon. And this is also Avon. It's cute, though. It's a little, um, like, windmill, light tire type thing. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five of those. Five pins. It's small. It's called a little lot <coughs> for 12. Like, it's very adorable. Little dog, lacquered. I think he's wood. Pretty cute colors on combo on that. It's cute. I like the phone. I had a silver toned one. That's an Avon. This one's Avon. That one's Avon. This is Avon. Um, and these are no have no name on them. Mother of pearl butterfly. It was worth a shot. No interest. Well, hold on. Let me lay them here and look for something else. Okay, I didn't pull a whole lot of pins out, honestly. I do have some like to sell singles. Um, like where's, oh, I already, did I already show the flamingo that I had? Did I sell the flamingo? I don't think I did, did I? Did I show, oh, I did show it, nobody bought it. All right, okay, um, these I'll pass on to. Let me put them in a bag. I have so many pins that I don't... I'm just maybe going to do like a big jar of pins and sell them at some point. They're, they're really collecting. I have a Japan necklace that I think... I like Japan jewelry. Um, this is vintage Japan. I've got the faux pearls. It has a Jayhawk. It says Japan on there. A little extender on it. You have the metal caps, glass. These are glass like an art glass type thing. That one's glass. And then um, the other ones are plastic. we will call them plastic because that's what they are. Acrylic's plastic too. So as Lou say, it's all plastic, just different types. So if I don't know what it is, I'll just say plastic. All right, so this is a vintage Japan necklace. Let me give you a measurement. It's a nice color, of two colors of blue, like a pastel colors. It measures 18 inches. It's vintage Japan. All right. I'm probably spending more time on this than I need to, huh? Um, sorry, I was trying to untangle it. I don't know if there's any Japan likers out there or lovers of jewelry. I think their stuff's nice. Um, anyways, this one, if anybody wants it, is 
It, it's 10. That's glass too. There's glass there. They're, they mix a combo of glass, plastic, and metal in their jewelry. Okay, Elena, I think it's very pretty. You'll, you'll like it when you see it the way it looks. Yeah, I have a lot. I can't keep them all. So this one I decided I would just let it go and not make much. It's no big deal. Um, I did pick it up, handpicked this one, actually. I always do when I see them. All right, you already have a bag. Let me find it one second. I don't want to double bag, so. I mean, have more than one bag. It makes it hard. I don't remember what you bought. That's Patty. Deborah. You did buy something else, right? I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah, you did. You just bought something. Maybe you're up front. One second, guys. Sorry, that's Gina. Oh, Kathy has two bags by mistake. All right, I'll join yours up together. Thank you. Thanks. All right. How Chamero. Oh, this is, look at this one. This is nice. This is Sarah Coven. Sarah Cove, it's marked. This is a vintage necklace, Sarah Cove. I don't know the dating price, 70s on this, actually. Um, it has, I had a pair of these earrings not long ago. I, they've been sold. It's at, like a hidden pearl. Cage pearl, they call it. That's a faux pearl in their cage. This is Sarah um, Coventry necklace, and it's cool about it. Her tags there. It's one of those tie necklaces, and she, you know, they have a little clasp to join in here, a spring ring. There's the chain. It's in good shape. There's textured, and there's smooth links. There's hang at the bottom. I'll hang it up. It's long. I'm not going to measure. It's like over 30 inches. I know that, so hopefully you don't mind that. It's just a big ne a long necklace, a nice one, nice Sarah Coventry tie necklace. Let me see if I can't show. Or if they, there's another name for it. I, it's off the top of my head. Now it's nice. Uh, and I will, I'll do this one for. Um, for 13. Sarah Coventry. It's in good shape. I believe it's 1970s. Sarah Cove. It's marked. Hi Pandora. It looks brand new. All right, thank you. I have a small one of hers, too. It's cute. It looks silver-plated. I don't know if it is, though. Okay, so Sarah Cove. Just call it the hidden pearl tie. <laughs> the cage pearl. All right, so I said 13 on that. All right, thank you. I'm running out of bags. I'm going to have a lot of invoices. I do do the invoices today. Sometime after I like eat and stuff like that, make get Eva fed and all that. Very early evening, I'll get them done. And I try to ship on Saturday unless she asks me to hold it. Okay, I have this. This is a butterfly pendant. Look, like that comes off and it hangs on there. It's a little tassel. It's pretty. It's like three inches. It's not, I'm off completely. It's four and a half inch drop on that. And all of the rhinestones are here. Tassel. I do have something to hang it on instead of using my hands. Let me hang it up. It's on a silver tone torque hair, but this is a butterfly. <laughs> Little pendant. It's cute. All right. So for that, this is $6 if anybody wants it. It's the butterfly, not with the... It doesn't come with that. But it's cute. Somebody made it like... It magnets, magnetized. What else do I have? I have a couple of things in the... the big belt. I don't know. Should I pull that out? Let me get into some of these issues. Not issues. Items. <laughs> Alright. I thought it was cute. Hi, Lizzie. Like, those are... There's a little rhinestones down the center strip to. All right, I'm gonna pass on the little butterfly. Oops. Let me put it aside. Okay. 
It's going to be worn as a pendant. This is a more mod it's a modern, um, it's a nice rhinestone brooch. It's a faux pearl. Rhinestones hair, hair, and these are a, they're glass, all of it's glass. All right, this brooch hair is about two, two and a half inches. This is, if anybody wants it, this is $5. There's nothing missing, it's all there. There's the rhinestone in the center. Okay, Laura, thank you. This is your first, yeah, this is your first thing today. I think I... Okay, a flower. Thank you. I gotta get another plastic stand <clears throat> for like the holds and everything, keep myself organized. Um, all right, I offered this before, it's now cheaper. <laughs> That's nice. Look, there's multiple stones on here. There's a lot of different stones going on here. And that looks like the cobalt blue glass in there, as you can see. That's glass. The rest is stone. Many different kinds of stones on here. It's like 32 inches, I think, or 34 by my memory and the look of it. It is 34 inch. It's a strand of stone with cobalt blue glass in the center. It's a nice necklace, I think it is, to give multiple things going on. There's some amethyst, some rose quartz. I've come to the conclusion, I don't believe it's jade. Um, <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, stone necklace, and if anybody wants this, I, I'm lowering it um, a little. It's 22. Well, that's actually not just low. There's some garnet and amethyst on it too. I think I already said that. All right, so for that. And, oh, I got a lot of Is that too much there going on there, you think? <laughs> you have like so many different stones on there. It's, um, maybe it's too much. All right, I'm going to leave and hang here and look for something else. That stone necklace. Things are getting tangled. Yeah, it's a lot of pops of color. Maybe it's too much. I do have a, like a triple strand necklace that has like a lot of different stones on it. Maybe I can do something with them together. All right, I'll, I'll pass on that. I I mean, I, I paid a little bit for that. I can't sell it much cheaper than that. Um, <laughs> I may as well wear it at that rate. Um, Who knows, maybe it'll come back cheaper and I pay for it sometime if I get tired of looking at it. All right, I have a pair of wood earrings. I think these are pretty cool. These are red wood. Well, they're wood and dyed, I'm assuming, or because I don't. They're nice. They are, they move. I could put new backings on them, but I think these are nice. That one is something, like something. Oh, it's Diva getting some grub. Um. All right, these are two and a half inches. They're wood. They move, kind of like wood door knockers. All right. See if they, if anybody's interested. Five for these. All right, Pandora. Thank you. They're nice. Nice earrings. I'll put new backings on it on them for you. The one looks yellow. That's why I'm saying it. They just, you know, when they get old, and they sit around. While I'm dying down, people are taking off. Um, that happens. People have lives. I know that. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard sometimes to to be more in one place at one time. Thank you. You're welcome, Pandora. Especially I'm on during the work hour. 
How dare me? No, I'm kidding. Actually, it's a different population of people that don't work during the day or some work from home. So, all right, let's see. Let me move some of this out of here. Um, this is a Brighton bracelet, and I don't remember which one. Okay. <laughs> there's like a, you can wear it without it, but there was a piece of leather in here. I sewed it. There, it's marked Brighton. I forget what it, the brand, the, not brand, it's Brighton. But I forget what the series of jewelry was called. But I sold one with a, I think it was a red or a black strip of leather in there. This one doesn't have it. But you can wear it without it. Or if you have, look, I mean. That's, my wrist is a little over a six. A six a little over. There's room on there, so this can be worn probably up to an eight inch wrist. Um, there's stuff silver plated, as you know. Um. If anybody's interested in this, um, it's still a bracelet without the strip. It's it's 12 if anybody wants it. It's measuring like two inches this way. One and three quarter inches up and down. And then going across like this, um, it's a little over two and a half inches that way. I should have sold, well, the other person didn't buy it. I don't have the strip with it. Just takes the uh, oomph out of it, doesn't it? Um, just see your skin through it now. <laughs> Still a nice bracelet. Yeah, the series, I forget the series, but they, the bracelets were going for a decent amount of money. But like I said, you had something that would hook there, a piece of leather um, that was under it. Or it may have been faux leather. I have no idea if it was real. Um, couldn't really smell anything on it. It was a small piece. Small chunk. Okay, so I'll pass on the Brayton. Maybe I'll try to get some leather strip to stick in it and wear it. All right, what else? I have a lot more. Let me keep moving. Keep trucking. Um, how about this? This is like... It's not missing anything. All of the, there are like a citrony color. Um, it's a cat's eye. This is about two inches. There's the back. This is in good shape. It's working. All of those rhinestones are there. There are darker, like, um, darker, like brownish, like amber colored. And then there's lighter, like citrine rhinestones or rhinestones. And this is, if anybody wants this, this is $5 for this. That's a nice, um, flash in there. That's how you would hold it. I mean, how it would be pinned, to pins across that way. It looks the same on all angles. All right, Pam, thank you. Is that your first thing today? Um, I, th God, I think I'm going to see you now. Okay, I'll call it the cat's eye pin. I don't want to dig for a bag. Um, that's why I'm asking. I can't remember for some reason. Um, I think it is the first thing today. If not, you'll have more and more bag and I'll join it up. Let me find Kathy's and join hers up because I know I gave her two bags by already somehow. And, and Pandora. Like, I'm not with it. Okay. One second, guys. I'll be right back. I just want to join these things up. All right, Pandora bought the caged, oh, I'm so sorry, Pandora, you bought the caged pearl necklace, right? I didn't even put your name on it. Wasn't that you, right? The caged pearl uh, Sarah Coventry was Pandora. So let me stick these two together. Um, this is... All right, Pandora, Pandora. Okay, yes, thank you. Yeah, it's a nice necklace from her. It's the older one, the older um, Sarah Coventry. Okay, so there, and you have the, um... Okay, that's painted. One second. I just wanna stick Kathy's other item in with hers, so I, I'm gonna keep myself on track and not getting confused here. Kathy is the big stone necklace, and now in the bumblebee. The bumblebee's fabulous, I think. Okay, and Pam, um, second. Okay, let me just find that, guys. I will be right back. Or ladies, if we're mainly ladies here. 
thank you for letting me know, reminding me. Um, there's a lot of bags here already. Kathy also has the stones. Good God, I don't think I slept enough, guys. <laughs> with me. I'm usually pretty much on top of it, you know that. Um, here we are, you have this little lovely 1928. Okay, I'll remember that now. I usually am much better. Um, just explain it, somebody pops in the first time, and sees this, and like, wow, she's a mess. Um, I don't think I slept well enough. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I have this belt I, that I once thought was a necklace. That was kind of a funny scene. Uh, remember this? I tried passing this <laughs> off as a necklace. Oh, it's big. It's a big belt. It's a belt. Seed beads. I'll measure it. Um, it needs cut. I'm not messing with that. It seems fine. All right. It's that big thing. I don't know if anybody will want it. It's nice. That's uh, some nice uh, turquoise in there. And I don't see a maker's mark on this, but. Give me a second. All right, I'm going to measure it from end to end to see what the potential is of how small your waist must be to fit this. I know I wouldn't fit it. I've become a month. I've become rather not a monster, I've become large. Larger, 35 inches total in length. So you need to have, you know, because I, you know, this is probably when it droops, dang, dangles a little bit. So you have to be a smaller chick to wear this or woman. It's nice, I think. Even this piece pulled off and made me something else. Well, there's the back. Seed beads and this is... Uh, I'm going to put a price on it, see if anybody wants it. I'll never fit it again. My middle daughter would fit this easily. It would probably be too big on her. Like as a hip belt, like around your waist it hangs down, I think. But anyways, that's 30 bucks if anybody would want it. It's a... Inlaid turquoise. That's not sterling silver. I believe it's a brass. Or like a, I don't know, nickel silver or something. I don't really know what it is. But there's that. I figured I'd bring it and offer it. <laughs> Let me show the little rose quartz here I have. All right. No, I don't think there's any interest in that, huh? I'll put, I think I should put, probably put this one online. All right. Because it's, it's harder to sell. More, you know, there's more people online. I'll pass on that. You'd probably fit it too. Are you thin enough for that? I got the good old days. I don't. I probably that. I'd have to squeeze that on and I'd pop it. Um, <laughs> I don't even think I get it on. All right, this is rose quartz and these little pieces. It does. That sounds nice though. Would look nice with a jean dress, like a button you want to use in, or a shirt dress. All right. There's one. There's one missing. A little bit of a thing that's going on here. I just noticed it this morning. In there. I used to be tiny. It's it's been it's an ongoing thing with me. I don't know what's going on. Um, all right. So there's this. I think I'm eating too much. That's probably, that's probably what it is, huh? Can't put spoon down. No, I'm joking. Um, we went at lava cake, so we ordered Domino's. Ooh, is our food gross besides the lava cake? The only thing we ate out of it was the cake. I mean, Eva and I together she wanted lava cake this is 16 inches that is rose quartz there is one little one missing you can't it's very hard to even find it but there's that and then i have a bracelet it's a stretch bracelet of rose quartz as well there's none missing out of this one so this is a set rose quartz you see you have this tie up here Lava cake is um, Domino's sells a delicious cake that has like chocolate warm icing that comes out of it. It's absolutely delicious. Um, probably really fattening. <sighs> but yeah, it's good. But their food's so greasy. We couldn't eat the like bread knots we bought and stuff where it's just so greasy. It was making me sick. All right, this is a buy it now for the set of 18. It's rose quartz. It's a stretch. 
and you have that and then you have these three on the side with rose quartz with a little tie type it has you know a way of taking it off and on um i didn't mess with it too much but you pull it out here rose quartz hi hi um yeah yeah terrible i'm terrible ordering dominoes just to get the lava cake you know what lava cake is um they probably don't have that where you're at huh lizzie over all right any interest how about 15 i just want to get rid of it <laughs> i'm so i'm just kidding um there is one little rhinestone missing but not a big deal and it's so easy to replace maybe i'll fix it and then re-offer it yeah it is a slide knot i don't really it i mean it's hold on i'd have to look yeah you just slide it through there it comes in and out and see it's like firm here it's not like something's gonna twist and break yeah it's a slide knot on the necklace handmade piece i don't know the fabric of the necklace on it i don't think it's silk all right but it is knotted in between and it's nice this one's not that stretch all right i'll pass on that i am missing a little crystal or, or a little rhinestone on that i just noticed it that happens that's why i try to keep the stuff separate i mean i'm not saying it happened on my end but it did happen hi janda what time is it oh i've been on here two hours already let me move along all right some of this is going to be repeat like i said um things cheaper I showed these the other day. All right. <laughs> I just showed these. Um, did I try selling them? I think so. All right. These are, I don't know, wood or something. They're not plastic. They're some type of resin or wood. And they're painted. And there's little faces. I, I don't know what they're supposed to be. If anybody wants these, they are now five dollars that's silver as you can see of black in the back some kind of heads with a mouth that's like ooh. looks like they're whistling i don't know what they're supposed to be does anybody have any ideas what that is mm -hmm. all right that's a little bit funny looking. They're squared. They're like an inch and a half. I'm going to leave those faces sit there for a minute. Let me see what else I have. Oh, I have a Heidi Doss. I think you're right. That's could be. Oh, my God. I wonder if they're from a... I wonder if they're from Coraline. Coraline. Eva loved that movie. Hello, Ms. Cisos, if I'm pronouncing that right. Clothing rack. Clothes rack. You're new here, I think, right? Thank you. If you haven't subscribed, do so if you don't, if you want to know when I'm coming on. No. I'm, I've been staying pretty, um, well, I passed on those, right? All right? Let me pass on this. Hello. Thank you for stopping by. All right. The, this is Heidi Doss, and it's nice. Look, it's green. These are glass faux pearls, Heidi, Gla Heidi Doss necklace, there's that. It's marked Heidi Doss back here. Right. Right up there. I'm going to measure it. A Halloween sale in August. I don't know if I have how much Halloween stuff I have. I could use some new clothes. Uh, Miss, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it. Miss, Misiso? How do you pronounce that? Well, never mind. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell me when you're there. Um, this is, okay. So on this necklace, you can wear 17 to 21 inches. This is Heidi Doss. This is nice, actually. Nice necklace. Um, there. There's, you have there. There's the back. This, I'm, I'm going to offer this at, That's 28 if anybody wants it, which I think is a good deal. I don't know if it's, that doesn't come off. No, it's like stays on there. But these are knotted in between. Her jewelry's well made. Heidi Doss. 
and everything is on this one. I checked it to make sure that nothing was missing on it. But 28 is the cheapest I could do that on. Um, let me see. All right. Um, I'm move. Really? I don't know how that happened. Um, wow, that's really weird. Um, I don't know how that happened. I can't get into there now. I'm going to have to look at that. Uh, thank you for letting me know. I don't know how that happened. I don't think... I put up a block, like, for protector of like blocking some words but i i'll have to look at her title and everything and make sure something that's done make sure something's not um in the title or and i'll look at my blocked area and make sure it wasn't accidentally she wasn't accidentally blocked <clears throat> sorry about that if you're watching dawn that wasn't i didn't block you all right this is 28 let me pass on this i'll figure that out after i'm done I don't think I have any words in her title, though. Her title is, what is it? How to Collect and Wear. All right. I'll figure that one out after. As soon as I get off, I put a note here. Thank you, Lurky. Lurky Lou, for letting me know that. All right. Let me see. This is a, um... I've shown some of this before, like I said. But, um... Yeah, I'm sorry. Hi, Dawn. That's very strange. I don't even know how that happened. Her title doesn't have anything in it, like, weird or anything, so I'll have to look at that. You know how you put in the blocked words? I... Okay. This is, this is glass. Um, it, these are art glass. It's happening a lot. I've never really had that happen before. Um, I have heard of other people saying it's happening to them, though. Crackle glass there. Opaline. And you see, these are, this is all glass. It's cool, I think. It's a little different looking, but it's cool. I'll give you a measurement on it. I'm not having any of those weird pop-ups, though. If you notice, knock on wood, I put you have to be subscribed for a minute to come in. You have to be subscribed for at least a minute to leave a comment on my, um, on my, on this video here. All right, so for this, if anybody wants this. It's eight dollars. That's this is opaline glass, I believe it's glass there, um, Murano style. Those are blunt, like art glass. It's actually within there. I don't know what it's called. Crackly looking glass. Just some glass. Eight bucks for this bracelet. Those are seed beads, glass seed beads, and this are the ends. It's a toggle. All right. Let me hang in here. It's a variety of mixture of colors and so forth. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been two hours, but I'm going to keep going. I have a couple more. I do have more things to show, a few more things. It's so like I said, some of these will be repeats you've already seen someone on. It's really strange. I don't know how. I'll figure that out. I didn't. I didn't block you. I can tell you that if it's you, if you're listening. All right. Um, it's eight inches, Laura. I think it's cool. Variety. It's. Yeah, it's an 8-inch one. And those are all glass. None of this is plastic. And it has some little, like, metal caps on it. It's a nice bracelet, I think. All right, you'll take that, Laura. Thank you for eight. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to find you. Hey, you're right in the front hood. Thank you. This is a Michael Kors bracelet. You're welcome. That, this is stone. That is a stone. There's Michael Kors right there. It has the marking on it. Um, This is a bracelet, of course. The MK there. Stone. And probably crystals around there. Um, the metal is base metal. I don't think, I don't know if it has a plating on it or not. I don't know if all this jewelry is plated or not, so I can't say. But anyways, this is eight inches. You could wear it smaller because you could like link it onto one of these probably here. But that's a Michael Kors. This is a, that's 10. This stuff goes for a There, that's that bracelet. That's $10. Michael Kors bracelet. And this is some kind of stone. Like lacy, I guess, of something. What is that? I really don't know. But it's not glass, I know that. All right, I'll leave that hang there while I look at what else I have. Um, this looks like sp splatter glass. I'll show that next. I have a splatter glass necklace. All right, I'll pass on the Michael Kors. Okay, this is um, splatter glass, and um, it's a barrel clasp. It's not stone. I, I, I mean, I put on gem tester, didn't test this out. So it looks like splatter glass to me. I've had a vase. I actually have a vase that's splatter glass, and... That's my guess. I'm calling it splatter glass. It's glass. It's a glass necklace, and I don't know the content of the metal. It came in a gold-filled lot. I didn't test it. It's 22 inches in length, so I'm not sure if that is um, gold-filled balls in between gold-plated or just gold tone. I don't know. It's a. It has this as the class. All right, that's splatter glass necklace. I um. I think it looks better quality. This is 18. If, if anybody wants it. Let me double it up and stick it on here. I'll test the metal. I mean, gold filled, it, it, it smokes. Is that right when you test gold filled? Anybody notice that or is that gold plate? I need to watch a video, a reliable one. All right. So the splatter glass may be mine still good I'll, I'll look good um, all right i'll pass on that real quick um i'm like a little anxious about the fact that somebody's blocked it i didn't block that really makes me anxious i don't know why i'll figure it out though um i have to look at the words i have in my block content and i may remove them all and just do the one minute subscribed because people can't come in and put those bots in because they can't subscribe to you. So I think I can remove all the words. All right, this is um, the coral look. That is not coral. These are rhinestones. It's All of them are there. They're circling in here and here. And this is a plastic. Call that. This is about two inch brooch. This is, that's $5. It's a nice brooch. Here's the back. Hi, Thelma. There's that. Five, if anybody's interested. These are a plastic. And the hair there are... All of them are there, if you can see the little ones. All right. Next, we have one that matches this. And it's a bar, and I don't know where it is. Can't find it. All right, I think this is going to be a pass, huh? We'll pass on that. All right. Let me put the Heidi Doss back in the bag so nothing happens to her. <laughs> to her. 
I'm not gonna probably not gonna recap on any of these. I don't know. I might quickly, but this is Thrifty Thursday. I guess I'll recap briefly. Why not? All right. I have this. This is. I don't know who the maker is on this, but look, they're like springy, kind of like a splink, uh, slinky or something. Flowers. There's the class. Let me measure it. I'll tell you how long it is and put a price on it. I think it's cool. It is measuring a total of a 22 inch drop. About 24 with it has a, it has a little extender on it. So let me just, oh, there, there it is. I probably hung it crooked. Let me move back. That's what it is. It's a flower necklace. Um, that's six dollars if anybody wants it it's i don't know who the maker is or anything on this i have no idea of anything about it but i thought it was kind of cool it's double chains or double there it's the back it's like all mended together there somehow all right Oh, my ribs. It's a really weird pain in my upper abdomen. <clears throat> I, I have no idea what it's coming from. Okay, Janda, thank you. All right, so we get a bag. Thank you. Let me move that. It's always something in the back. I feel like it does look a little dark in here. I bought, I don't like that. Um, StreamYard gives you a better stream um, of lighting. Unless it's because my light's dead there as well. Could be. All right. I thought that was nice too. This is, this is nice. Now, I, you know, this is missing a couple leaves. I can tell. I think it is. This is nice though. This is red glass. Look, red glass leaves. Yeah, I can't, I guess I could get into, I can't get into my block list now. I'll look when I'm done. Um, brass and red glass. So brass and glass here. These are glass leaves. I think there's a couple missing. Let me measure it and then let me hang it up and I'll show it to you and I'll show you where I think they're missing from. It's a total of 16 inches and this is an older necklace. Look, that's it the thing that pulls back it's a little small short and it's brass you can tell it's brass it looks older um i don't see anything oh wait it says something <laughs> oh wait it's not brass this piece is sterling i think my god but the other part is brass um this class here says sterling the one it pushes back but you know that looks like brass to me there it is. I think it's pretty. Let me turn it over. Yeah, anybody who's watching, um, well, in the future, all my lives, you'll have to be subscribed to say anything just to keep, um, to keep those, uh, to keep the people that were harassing. There's the chain up close. And there's, oh, I'm so sorry, there's some of these hair. I'll, I will pull all the hair out of it the best I can if anybody buys it. There's the chain. I'm trying to show it to you. These things are linked onto there. They're, they're all glass, and that's sort of lease. Okay, see, I think there's a couple of leaves missing on this, so let me show you. Yeah, that's a possibility. This one's older. I don't know how old. Did you get a good look at the chain, Lurky Lou? Lurky Lou. It's a funny name. All right. I believe there's a couple leaves missing. Um, but despite that, this is a fan. I think it's a rather ew, lovely necklace. Somebody wore it, apparently. And it looks older to me. So, for this, it's a nice necklace. Even with the missing ones, it, it's 12. Um, I don't know for sure if it's missing, though. But I, one place I saw a random... Yeah, lake hair. Look, let me show you. It, 
looks like one can be missing there. They can be moved around if somebody really loved it and wanted to wear it. It's They're possible to move around. You know what I mean? Because these are all connected onto there. It's really well made. All right, Lurky Lou. Send me your information, please. Just email me. Um, you know, PayPal email address, YouTube name, country. So if you're somebody who I know already, just say, hey, it's me. All right. Um, it's nice. You can move those leaves around if you're crafty. I'm, actually, I can move the leaves around if I wanted to take the time. It doesn't look real hard. But congrats and thank you. Oh, it's you. <laughs> all right, Dawn. I'll check and see what happened. I um. All right, so let's put your name on here. And how much did I say for that? Twelve. It's it's a nice necklace. I thought that was you. I just didn't want to assume. Try not to assume that type of thing. But um, yeah, it's nice. I think I don't know how old that is quite, but it looks old. Forties or something to me. It's my guess. Tr strictly a guess on that too, because I don't know. All right, this is Brighton. I've shown this before. This is a panel bracelet. It's nice. I'm going to offer it a lot cheaper than I ever have. Oh, it's a fold-over clasp. And I think you can wear this from, like, it has these, like, seven inches. Let me show you. From, I don't know why it has two. Is that so you can change the length? I don't know. I'm, but seven and a half inches, we'll say, on this. And it's Brighton. Brighton's marked there. All right, this is, I put an extra in. That's ten dollars. How long have I been on here? Over two hours. All right. I guess I should get finished wrapping up. I'm gonna finish showing what I have. Cause why not? All right. Brighton panel bracelet. Um, I think both of them are there because you could wear it a little bit shorter too. Probably a size seven to a seven and a half. But. All right. This is nice. Let me show this. I have another little Sarah Cove Pandora. That's a good buy for that. But um, thank you. Congrats. All right. Oh, Let me show the other little one, see if anybody wants this. This is a Sarah Coventry, too. Signed Sarah Cove, I think, from around the same time. I, I'm not sure the dating on it. Spring ring. It's a little tie necklace. It's cute. It looks new. This is definitely older. 780s, probably. I'm not really sure exactly. Um... But it has the Sarah Cove with the, uh, it's 16 inches with a two and a half inch extender. It has the, just the Sarah Cove and it's in one of these little things. But here it is, little necklace. Wait, let me turn it around. <laughs> I don't know if I have it turned the right way. All right. That is... I put a percentage instead of a money mark. Um, five, if anybody's interested. It's a nice little chain. It's a actually quality necklace. Hair, a little tie. Does not untie. It's a. But it's it's a well made. It's spring ring clasp um, necklace. All right, Laura, thank you. I've had that one for quite some time. Jewelry is starting to power up, <laughs> which is not a bad thing because um, it's always good to have jewelry, right? Okay, okay Laura, let me find your bag. That's, here you are right here. Thank you. I think this is really pretty. This feels satiny. Um, it's like silk. This, this, let me show it to you close up. This is, I think this is really pretty. And I've, oh, okay. Very pretty. A large rondelle with rhinestones and a 
And here's this. So it's pretty long. I'll measure it. Um, around, it's two two strands there. And it's I think it's probably at least yeah, it's like 30 inches around your neck. A total drop of 18 and a half and 30 inches around your neck. Um <laughs> what's case or Kaiser? Is that a oh is that a um is that the testing center? A testing center or something. Oh, um, all right. Yeah, I end up, that's when I'm waiting for my daughter and have spare time. I, I pop on people's, when I'm waiting, which is often. All right, so this necklace, it's nice. Those are black faceted glass, and that's a ring of rondelles. And it's, I believe this is silk. I don't really know that it's fabric. I'm not an expert on silk. So, anyways, this is, a, I think this is a very nice necklace. This is 12 bucks if anybody wants it. Feels like silk. All right, let me double, triple, quadruple it up here. <laughs> There's that. I'll just leave it hang there for one second. Let me see what else I have. I have plenty more. Okay, I did the stuff I didn't sell. I, I mean, I, I don't really, I'm not really going to recap. If anybody wants to go back and look, they can. I did have some rose quartz, a couple things that, but, I mean, there are things I didn't sell, but I don't know if I'll recap it. All right, Yippio for 12. It's, it's really nice. You'll like it. Let me see it. Thank you. Unless I have somebody here new that wants me to, but it's, actually, it's two and a half hours. Where are you going, Lizzie? Just curious. Well, you don't have to tell us if you don't want, but have fun. Um, a glass necklace with a black glass. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. It's really pretty. Oh, there you are right there with the flower. Okay. Let's see what else I have that I have not shown. I didn't show this one yet today. I don't know if I ever have before, but it's inlaid seed bead. And Mother of Pearl inlay there. Abalone and Mother of Pearl. I don't know what the black is. I'm going to say it's enamel. I'm not going to call it onyx. Oh, that sounds nice. To stay a family or something. That needs cleaned off. All right. It's, yeah, have safe travels. That's That sounds wonderful. It's beautiful in Scotland. I don't, I've never been there. <laughs> but I've seen pictures looks fabulous this is 18 inches around the neck and that can come off with baby oil if you want i'll get it off for if anybody buys it no big deal um that's five bucks i should have had that off here by now it's been sitting around for a few months but it takes time sometimes to get things together you know how that is okay yep you it's nice i have a white one like that Eva is probably like, when's she getting off? She probably wants something cooked. Um, thank you. <laughs> no, we have plenty of food to eat. All right, this is glass. A glass bracelet. Not jade. I've shown this the other day. I'm going to offer it cheaper. See if anybody wants it. Two and a half inches. Oh, so you're from Scotland. Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful over there. Have to post pictures on your Facebook. Um, okay, so for this one, this is a buy it now. Of, um, if anybody wants this glass bracelet, I don't remember what I charged the other day. It's 10 bucks. It is not jade, though. I tested on the gem tester. It will tell me if it's glass or not. This is definitely glass. I don't want anybody to think it's jade. Um, I'm not saying it's jade, so I guess you can think whatever you want. <laughs> right? I said it's glass. All right. <laughs> it's nice. It's a nice bracelet. Um. Peking glass. Hi, Jeannie. You think? Okay. 
Thank you. It's it's ten bucks if anybody wants it. It's kind of I thought it was jade because of the marbling there when I found it. You see why it looks like that? It's not though. All right, I'm gonna pass on it. I have some designer glass bracelets. I have to figure out who they are. They're pretty cool. All right, this I've shown this before. Okay. Well, okay, I'm gonna show it again. Looks gold plated. I don't know if it is. It's a some type of bug a ladybug i guess it's gold it's special um <laughs> he's golden it's five bucks it's cute black enamel gold tone we'll call it and there's one rhinestone or crystal in there there's the back there's no marking on this but it's a little little bug it's in good shape though it's not faded up or anything or beat up as you can see All right, I'll pass on the bug. I didn't bring a lot of brooches. Sorry. Some of this is repeat stuff too. This is nice. This is vintage. Oh. I think this is glass. It is glass. I thought it was plastic before. Okay, Gina. I'll put the bug in your bag. Thank you. I That's not broken. I just hung it wrong. I'm going to show that. All right, good luck on that haircut. It's You've had three since I've had none. <laughs> I need a haircut. I should go get a haircut. I, I'm going to. I definitely need my haircut. It's just a matter of getting there. And then they're so expensive, some of them I don't want to pay it. But um, you can find decent ones, but sometimes they do things to your hair. Cheaper ones, I mean, do things to your hair sometimes you don't like one. All right, I'll check and see what happened. I have no idea how that happened. Okay, this is vintage. This is glass. Yep, I put the bug in a bag. <laughs> That's Anna's rhyme in there. <laughs> All right, I don't know, guys. I'm going to wash this. I just had it on my teeth. <laughs> this is glass, I think. I'm like, I'm having a hard time. All right, maybe I shouldn't sell it. I'll wait. I'll clean it, and then I'll sell it. Some glass, some is acrylic, like plastic. All right. This is nice. I, there is a little wearing on it, as you can see. Right there. Just a little bit. It's black. Um, <laughs> this is metal with a black coating over it. I think it's nice. It's not marked. I don't see a marking on it. Um, kind of looks like it should be... There's the clasp, too. It looks like it should be a 1980s like or 70s or 80s, but it's not Trafari piece or something. It is not as that lobster claw. It's nice, so there is a little wearing on a couple of these here. Like I said, that's a three-inch pendant. And I dropped that. All right, I'm getting, I'm sorry, I'm tired. Um, I'm almost done. I am moving slower today, can you guys tell? I deliberately slowed myself down. At one point, I was so fast, and when somebody was like, you're moving way too fast, I'm like, maybe I am. I still move fast, I think, but. All right, 27 inches around the neck, and this is a three-inch pendant. Or, oh, wait, let me make sure that's right. I feel like my math's off, too. Not quite myself. Two and a half inches. Here we go. It's nice, I think. Like I said, you can barely tell, but there is a little bit going on. I don't think it's deliberate, so I'm not going to say that. I think there's wearing on those. I got knocked off of something when somebody was wearing it. Okay, the speed's okay, not too fast, not too slow. All right, thank you. It's nice. This is nice. It's a nice one, I think. But anyways, where did I have it? Oh, I had it over there. That's eight bucks if anybody wants it. Kind of looks like Japaning. It's, um, you know, it's black on metal. <laughs> black uh, paint on over metal. Or black marker, yeah. Well, it's not marker, though. This is actually, um... Oh, you can fix it black marker. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Or some black paint. It's really pretty, actually. I wouldn't be... Well, I think they go together because... I don't know. It's eight bucks, so if nobody's interested, it's fine. I, I will find something else. I didn't get to test the content on that, so I'll wait. 
Um, here, how about this? Let's, yeah, to fix it. That that's that's probably a good idea. It's I think it's nice. Um, I've never heard of this name before. I thought this was gonna be a bigger quality necklace than what it is, but it's still nice. Um, Robert Verdi, I think his name on it. Yeah, Robert Verdi. Um, and this is the necklace. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, and I guess I could start setting some themes. I should. I don't know. This is what you have. It's very long. <laughs> Robert Verdi's. I never heard of him. I guess maybe other people have heard of that brand. Um, this is long. It is a good Halloween theme. Though. Yeah, the coloring and the design. 72 inches. This is long. That's six feet of length, and it has these crystals. Or rhinestones. I'm not an expert on that. That's if anybody wants this necklace. It's ten long. It looks like you know, like the the chains on the bathtub. I don't know what that's called. It's a very long necklace. It has these little rhinestones hanging off it every so often. This would be a um, bead ball. Okay. Are they open? Oh my god, they're on both sides. This is actually um, their bezel set. It's pointy on that side and flat on this side, but it's double sided. It's a very long necklace. Six feet in length. 72 inches with a clasp. Right? Does this have a clasp? Yeah, look. There's the clasp. One of those things. Alright. I'll pass on that. It shines like crystal. Um. Okay. I've never heard of him. I looked up briefly. I couldn't find that necklace, but I did find some similar to it. All right, let me show the Morvella. This is a vintage Morvella um, pearl necklace, faux pearl. It's glass. Um, it has one of those little pieces, pins. It's 22 inches pins that go in there like this. This is Morvella, M-A-R-V-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. They're known for their pearls. Let me double it up. There's that. And... I have these earrings that are also Morvella. They were with it when I found, when I picked it up. Okay, this set, if anybody wants to have vintage Morvella earrings and clip earrings and necklace is 10. These are clips. And... They're knotted in between their glass, and they have a nice luster to them. Okay. All right. I'm nearing the end. This was 10 Vintage Marvella. If anybody sees it, that's a good buy for that. I'll pass on that. And let me see. That other necklace, I don't know if it's glass or plastic, so I'm not going to show it. Let me show these little things and offer them, see if anybody's interested. Like I said, I'm sorry, I didn't go through a lot of pins or earrings. Um, there's this. That's a, that's transfer, that's not painted on there. Um, sorry, let me move this over. This is, this is vintage. There's those roses. Um, this little flower. This is, um, that's gold plated enamel, um, and these are light. I don't know if they're cellulite. I have no idea. They're flowers, so it's a little pin. So I have four pins and then a little dragonfly pin. For those, if anybody's interested in these, um, next time I will go through my earrings and so forth more and bring more. Those are ten for the four if anybody wants those four. I, um, I tried. <laughs> I didn't go through them enough there. Normally I bulk up more. Okay. Let me move these things. All right. I think I'll pass on those too. Okay. Put those back. 
I have a little bit more here, not a whole lot. Ugh. I am just going to recap. It's very late. Um, or I'll just hold things up and give a quick price. Somebody wants it, say want. I'm not going to type in anymore. This, this is a vintage brooch. It's enameling and there's that. It's about two inches. If anybody wants this, this is $7. It's textured. Make it five, five bucks. How's that? Whatever. I'm just going to go through stuff really quick and toss prices out. If I don't see any once, then I'll move on. I'm getting tired. Five bucks. <laughs> All right. If you will take that. Thank you. Plus, um, sorry, Morty. Um, Yippio came in first. Uh, that's, that's, I'll call it, it's a bouquet. I'm going to go through the things quick, see if anybody wants them. Um, even things I haven't shown, why not? First person comes in, it's fine. You, you don't need to save price, just save one. This is an elephant. This is cool. It's weighted, has a little weight to it. It's cool. It's trunks up. I don't know who the maker is, but it's a well-made one. It's about two and a half inches. This is five bucks, too. There's an eye there, but it's just like a detail that they put there. Enameling over it. That's five for the elephant. All right, I'm going to pass. And they come up pretty quick. So, um, with the Sun family. I've shown this before. I have a pin. They're in good shape, too. There's the back that's not real it's not loose or anything there's that sun and then i have a pair of earrings that go with it well i put it with it i think they match well enough they're not real heavy they, they're not exact match but why not guys let's just do this here and then there's this one so for this set for these three here i would say eight dollars for the four did you want the elephant genie because this is eight now after that, whoever says want, if anybody can have this for eight to set. Okay, so you didn't want the elephant, you wanted this. Yeah, make sure I say the price first, just to be fair, in case there's a fight. I don't think there will be. The elephant was five. Okay, so eight for the sons. Thank you, Jeannie. All right. I may even lower things. So people, I'm going to drive people crazy. It happens sometimes. I go through the end. <laughs> And I lower things, I get somebody to say, I'm interested in this. And I'll be like, I already sold that. <laughs> All right. I understand, not the elephant. I got it. Thank you. He's he's right there. All right. I did show the Heidi Doss. Um, this was 16 to 18 inches. I'm going to go through this quick. Um, it's nice. It's Heidi Doss. It's signed back there. Glass faux pearls are knotted. This was $28, which is a good price. For Heidi Doss, her jewelry is well made. There's the extender, the hook. Her name is marked back here. That was 28. It says Heidi Doss right there. Glass faux pearls. Okay, that was 28. I don't see anybody on that. If, if anybody pops in, just say Heidi Doss or whatever, you know. Um, let me see what else I have. I had this. I... <laughs> If some of you are at cobalt blue glass, and these are multiple stones. This was 34 inches, I believe. This was, this is 20, if anybody wants that. You have rose quartz, um, garnet, amethyst. Uh, it's, like, very colorful. It's long. There is no strand, no clasp on this, and that is 20, if anybody wants it. That would be the strand of stone. All right, um... I'm just moving along, not throwing things. Don't get, don't think I am. I don't throw my children. Typically, things are just being, moved on a hard desk. All right, this is rose quartz. This is very long. It's like 32, 34 inches. Rose quartz, larger chunks of rose quartz. This is, if anybody wants this, it's 10. It's like 34 inches. Not really sure of the exact length. 32 to 34 by memory. So that's 10 chunks of rose quartz okay let's move on i will show everything briefly very quickly this here is a well i already showed this i'm not going to lower the price on this this is um it's not vintage but it is swarovski there's a swan gold plated enamel and crystals this is twenty dollars and this was an 18 inch around the neck 
It's in good shape. It's not faded or anything. It's fold over clasp. That's Swarovski. Not vintage SAL, but Swan Swarovski crystals and gold plated. I'm almost done. Let's see. Oh, this is a new one. This has one of those coal hidden clasps. It's a vintage, like, brick red and white necklace. And it's about 22 inches. This is five bucks if anybody wants it. It's, um, it's plastic. There you go. That would be five. I'm just about... I'm going to show... I'll show him. Just a couple more things. I'm going to show everything again. Um, I'm tired. I mean... 16, okay. Is that right? Okay, I could be wrong. You remembered that probably because you like Swarovski. All right, probably is 16 then. All right, thanks. This was five. I didn't measure it. I was off on that, I guess. Are you sure? Like, I expect myself to have, like, such great memory. Let me measure it. <laughs> I usually do with numbers, but sometimes they, they escape me. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, a little over 16 inches. Yeah. All right, thanks. If anybody wanted, if they could let me know. This is a Roman, um, the take on Duchess of Windsor, as many had done. This is the Roman brand, R-O-M-A-N. I think it's gold-plated. I wiped it up, and it came clean. It looked faded. It's not gold. I know that. These are, I'm going to guess, as rhinestones, and that's enameling. It's about two inches. That's eight bucks if anybody wants it. It's cool. I have a nice, I have a Napier one. That's a, a little different take it has crystals all over it and it's gold plated this one is the roman one though sorry he just fell okay so such as a windsor take that's a th video i'm considering finding a why well, i shouldn't say what i'm gonna do i'll do that later. i have ideas i'm trying to come up with some new ideas these are um enhancers they have Japanese writing on them that needs cleaned off. It's a label, but this is a cloisonné style. This is not true cloisonné. No, I could be wrong on that, but I don't think it is. Both of these would be eight. They are enhancers, like to put on your pearls or whatever, put links together. They'd have to be thin pearls to fit multiple pairs or holding one pull, pulling one pair of pearls up you could use on these. These are eight for both of them if anybody wants them. Okay, you'll take the room and... Um, little flamingo okay thank you okay I'll put it in a separate bag and find you some right there with this one all right I think I've shown most oh this is a new necklace this is let me tell you what it says on it. I don't know what it... I didn't research a lot. It is F O P O F T or F J. Ooh. Never mind. I'm going to look that one up. I think it's more of a designer and I thought it was. I see something else on it. We'll wait on that. All right. Those were eight for both of them. Do have some glue under there. This is 10 if anybody wants it. It's Brighton. There was, you can place a strip, there's a strip of leather under there originally. That's 10 bucks. Okay. That's a Brighton bracelet. It does have the marking there, and it's, they're silver plated. It's like almost two inches this way. And, okay. I did show that. And the Eisenberg I'm not going to show. Liz Tech, Star, and Glass. There's Glass. I think there was something stuck on there. I don't know, but you could stick, like, this could just be a decorate. It's 10 bucks if anybody wants it. It's like an inch and three quarter, an inch and a half. It's cute. That's an actual mirror in the background. This is metal, and there's glass pieces on it, and it has the signature there, Liz Tech, Liz Tech, and in 2020, I guess. All right, that's 10. I don't know what was stuck on there, maybe pendant. So that's about it. These were five each. This is Bratz and Mother of Pearl inlay. This is a nice bracelet. There's no seam. That was five, and they had this one for five. They were five, and that's it. I'm done, I think. Um, I'll be back on Monday. I will invoice this evening. I'll come back Monday at, um, which did I? Do you want one or both? I'm sorry. Let me 
stop and then start again. Did you want this one? This one is not as well made. It's still nice, but you do see a seam. And this is silver tone. I can't, it's probably stale. Um, but it's light. This one's weighty and fabulous for five bucks. That's brass and no seams. And Okay, thank you. I, what about this is um this is amethyst hematite and quartz bracelet <laughs> i don't remember the price let me stop with more of these um two bracelets i'm done okay five each for these mother of pearls um what i was saying is i'll invoice later this evening and um i will have a haul video on saturday which i do sell out of and then i'll have my preview video on sunday and i'll be back monday evening at 8 p.m eastern time but thank you for coming i really appreciate everybody coming and stopping in i know some of you are even working but um thank you you too irene thank you um i'm gonna take eve out shopping probably clothes shopping or something i don't know we're gonna do some things together maybe go down to the um phipps and see the flower show as well the monet flower show looks good um but yeah i'm gonna try to do some things with her over the weekend all right guys i'll talk to you later invoice i'll invoice this evening and um try to ship out saturday for those who want me to okay thank you i appreciate it thank you for coming i gotta figure out how i can sign right into youtube from the video i that i say i'm coming on ahead it's my notification i don't know how to get in Yeah, you can wear them together. And they're about the same size, too. All right, let me go. Oh, you just want the fat bracelet and not this one? Okay, that's what you're saying, the brass. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I can do that. The brass, I mean, the other one's nice, too, but the brass one's really exceptional for that, I think, um, for five bucks. Okay, brass mother of pearl bracelet. All right, I got it, Marty. Thank you, guys. Have a good night, good day, good evening. And I'll talk to you later. And, and I don't know how to get out of here either. It's so you new to me using YouTube for this. It feels like forever. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's easy enough.